Joe Beards all from Red All Over. This is the Red All Over instant reaction, uh, something that's new to Red All Over. We're doing this after the games to have a quick chat and find out what we thought to the match. Um, bad start for Barnsley today to the season. Lost 1 0 to Luton. A second half, James Collins' goal, uh, which means that Barnsley have got no points on the board after uh, the first game. Big Kev, it's not the greatest start. Well, it was a poor game all round. I thought Luton created most chances. We didn't create any chances at all, hardly. I mean, I'm hoping it's not going to be like last season. Uh, we need to sort of create more and we need to put them away when we get a chance. But obviously today was just a boring game and Luton created a little bit more than we did. And they got that goal. Gerhard Struber's just in the press, said he just felt we didn't get the momentum today. Uh, also said that Luton were playing obviously a long ball style. I don't think that really suited us. And um, he felt that they were lucky with their chance and we were unlucky with Dominic Freezer towards the end who had that header. Um, do you agree with that? Well, you, make, you make your own luck, really, at the end of the day. I mean, it's like last season. It, you can make as many excuses as you want, but you've got to put your chances away. Uh, they came, they won 1-0. We better sides get away with goals like that and they win. We didn't win. I mean, last last season we was the same sort of thing. A lot of games we went, we we created a lot more last season. This this season at minute, obviously it's the first game, uh, slow start. We need to improve drastically for the next few games, or we could find ourselves in bottom again. Well, before we just finish talking about uh, today's game and looking ahead to tomorrow on Tuesday, uh, John and Williams were up for press duty. I think I think it was tough for us today. Um, their game plan that came here with it and stuck to it. Um, I think we need to stick to our game plan and play out from the back and play, but I think it was tough today. We need to take a learning curve from the long balls and learn from it, and we'll go again on Tuesday. So that's what Jordan thought to the game. Um, personally, Big Kev, I, I thought Jordan was my man of the match. I mean, we lost 1-0, so <laughs> it's never easy to pick a man of the match when you lose 1-0 well, to Luton. Well, him, day, him, and, but... him and Ludwig played really well, uh, but obviously... Styles is normally a really good. He, he didn't create enough. He weren't the player like last season. The end oh, of last season, he was great. I thought he played really. I thought he did all right today. Yeah, he weren't he, one of the weaker players. No, was he? he weren't weak. But I'm saying he were all over the field the last few games of last season. We just need that. I know it's the first game and they haven't had many games, uh, but obviously we need him to come back, sort of putting himself about. He what? He what? The end of the season. He what? Man at season. At end of the season, and uh, that's what we need to see this season. We need him there. I think obviously he's a young lad, but I agree that because he's got the talent, we're always expecting a lot of him. I just felt like it was just a bad day at the office. I don't want to be too critical of the team today because it was one of those where it was a frustrating game. I kind of agree with Gerhard Struber. We didn't really get momentum. Uh, my only concern is going forward, not enough chances for me. We should have been creating more chances. Do we need a striker before the transfer window closes? Well, we've always said we need a, lot, a big lad up front. <laughs> somebody, somebody was going to knock him about and let... Woodrow, or uh, you know what I mean, get get them feed off feed off a good big big lad up front. We need a big lad, knock them about. Let them know they've been in a game, uh, and we we lost it with more, and we need that replacement, and we've never had it. Does Patrick Smith deserve to come on a bit earlier in that game for you? Would you have brought him on a bit earlier? I think he needs to be give game time. He hasn't had enough game time when he's come on. He's created and got and got chances, got goals. I think he's got goals in him. But if he if he played regularly. We don't know what kind of player he could be. He could be, you know, a top striker. You never know. You never know. Scored against uh, England under, I don't know if it's under 20. I can never remember the age range, but he scored anyway this week. So, um, yeah. Uh, Midweek then, Borough need a better performance in the Carabao Cup. Well, let's hope it's a better game. We, I mean, it's, it was terrible to watch today. I mean, yeah, if you, you could at least, you know what I mean? If, if we miss a lot of sitters... And then you're going, oh yeah, at least at least we played well. We, we didn't play well. Just go out and play well. That's all we expect. If we lose and we play well, we enjoy the game. But to lose and to sort of not perform at all is not very good. Can't get too carried away though. It is the first game of the season. Yes, we're disappointed we've lost, but there's uh, 45 games to go. We know from last season when we beat Fulham on the opening day 1-0 that things can change pretty quickly in this league. So fingers crossed the Reds get back to winning ways against Middlesbrough in a Carabao Cup. Be nice to set up that game against Chelsea. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, nice. I yeah. say nice. We're probably not. It'd be gonna, nice if we could yeah. win a watching it, but I don't know if we'll. Uh, well, we can't. Yeah, we're probably yeah. not going to get in to watch it, but it'd be nice to see the Reds uh, challenge themselves against some top players in that Chelsea side if they do pick a decent team. If if we beat Borough, we've got to beat Borough first. That's a big enough challenge. Uh, so yeah, this is Red Oliver instant reaction. We're looking to try and do this 
every week after after the games if we can. Um, so yeah, give us a give us a bit of feedback and click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Please subscribe to the channel. This is where you get all the latest content from Red All Over. And uh, give us a thumbs up if you thought it was all right. Um, don't give us a thumbs down just because Barnsley lost. Please don't do that. <laughs> right, we'll catch you later on in the week.